designed to serve unaccompanied refugee youth who have fled their home countries due to war, violence, persecution, um, and are searching for safety somewhere else. And as they age out of the foster care system, they're placed in homes that can help them gain independence. And that's exactly what O'Brien was trying to do when Zachariah came into their family at age 18. I want him to have the opportunity to thrive. The O'Brien family committed to taking care of him as he waited for his special juvenile immigrant status to be approved. He really just felt like part of our family and it was just kind of like a natural transition. 18 months after he came into their family, he received the call. We had a great dinner and we got home and one of the kids ran to the mailbox and you know, I was like, oh, maybe it's your documentation. Just not the one they were hoping for. Basically, they give you like 10 days or something, and then you have an appointment to report, and we just felt sick. The letter came from the Immigration, Deportation, and Detention Office in 2019, saying he was being deported back to Somalia in 10 days. This is one of the last things that we did together, was have his graduation open house. O'Brien thought she could persuade the court system to let him stay. I just thought, we'll just go, you know, and we'll tell them, you know, that you're an amazing person and you're not a drain on the government and you're not a danger. But deep down, they knew it wouldn't work. He was just like, it doesn't work that way, Kim. So Zachariah fled. He basically sent my husband and I a Facebook message that said like, I need a couple of days. Um, just know that like, I love you so much and that will never change. Now he's in Canada where he's waiting to return to the U.S. for a court date that will determine if his case for citizenship will reopen. That could look like from anything between deportation to Somalia, you know, taken into custody for deportation to Somalia, or okay, you know, let's See if we can get this paperwork moved forward that should have been moved forward. O'Brien said she's happy the Biden administration is taking a different approach to immigration, but knows they still have a long journey ahead of them. They don't know how this love is life-giving and life-changing, and once you feel it, there is no other way to live. And that one day, they'll be together again. I have been forever changed by your love, and I will not forget. Zachariah did not want to be on camera, but did say in a statement to Fox 47, I wish that immigrants are considered as people with passions and dreams that have been broken and yet remain hopeful and just not as people who don't have emotions. The hearing that will determine whether his case is reopened for citizenship will take place in May. Your neighborhood reporter in Williamston, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News.